So the Cougars, <laughs> undefeated. Killing it. Where are we right now? That's and by we, I mean you, because my to be team honest, lost. I got to get back on it, because I know we're ranked after beating uh, Oregon State, Johnny in them. So. Oh, the fighting Johnny Heckers. Yeah. So Beeves lost, Cougs yeah. won, undefeated, mm -hmm. top 20 team. It's good to have you feeling pretty good. Hey, just know uh, the support is all there with me and uh, my fellow Cougs. And good luck to the rest of the season, man. There it is. You know, it's all love. Over here from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, baby. Do you remember the Palouse? Am I saying that right? Yeah, the Palouse. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Can Bro, you, it's... Can you tell us that's so all So the about? Palouse is like, there's nothing but like brown fields out there. Nothing but really? open fields, yeah. This is in Pullman, right? This is in Pullman. The winners are the worst time. As far as being an island boy coming from Samoa and everything. Sure. I'm not used to the snow or everything. It was probably like the first, my freshman year probably was my first and last time enjoying snow. That was the first time you ever saw snow was at college. Yes. Come on through. Just doing a TV show. You know what? My first time in college, or my first time seeing the snow, college too, South Bend, I almost cried. I was so homesick. I, I was from Arizona. It's like 120. And then all of a sudden it was snowing. You had the, yeah. you had so the same feeling. Probably the same feeling. Probably yeah. Same feeling. Oh wait, hold oh, we on. Gotta, we hold got a guest. We got a guest. Oh, an extra guest, DJ. I'm gonna be with y'all next week. Perfect. Or the week after. Or the week after. No, how about you know, next week? Like the invitation. Next week, DJ yeah. Chark. Stay tuned. Spoiler alert. He's on next week. Yeah. Hey, same hey, man. car talk is blowing up now. People are trying to get on the show. Before people were trying to get away from the show. No, I don't want to do it now. Yeah. Now we got Chark wanting to get on. All right, good. Hey, Hayden. Hey. How are we doing? Hayden's been on it. Hayden can killed Tark. So can no, nope, can't get a ride. Can't get a ride, Oz. Sorry. No, can't get a ride. <laughs> there you go. So. So freezing cold, mm -hmm. but you survived. Survived, you know, trying. I mean, I was barely surviving out there. Um, wearing all types of layers. Is that the first clothes. time you ever bought a coat? Yeah. Do you still yeah. have that coat? Or did you like burn it as soon as you no, got it? No, I still it? have it. Well, still like my it. first cold coat, I mean, obviously the team issue, but then I went and bought a great, uh, not a great goose. Maybe you bought a great yeah. goose. I don't I know. Bought a great, I was, you know, sipping on a little great goose up in college, but. <laughs> Uh, Canadian get, uh, goose jacket I bought uh, like my senior year in high school. Anyways, my ex was like, she was vegan, so you know buying that type of material. Oh, so you had to be. Oh my goodness. She was a little like against it, but then you know, Mike, I was cold. <laughs> You're and like, I, I just need something warm. Right. Right. But I ended up, you know, good. Overall, I just need my warm. So yeah. So you talked about an ex. Yeah. I don't know. Have you heard? That Travis Kelsey is dating Taylor Swift. Has that crossed your timeline? Man, that, I just know that man be pulling all sorts of chicks, man. But I heard the news, and I think they cool together. Do they, you, buy, they click. Do you think he knows any Taylor Swift songs? I think he do. Do you know any Taylor Swift songs? If you, I'm feeling 22. Hey! Yes. And here's the best part about that. That's my favorite Taylor Swift song. That is, hey, that's that was only, not planned. That was the best. Yes. Awesome. Hey, off, you know what I mean? Yes. It like, was just on the regular. That we knew is, we just clicked. We just clicked. That was, a, that, first of all, that was amazing. Second of all, odds that bad blood will get through the roof when inevitably they break up. Right? Like. Bad. I keep saying, they're gonna, tell me if I'm wrong. You, you may have your own prediction. Mm -hmm. My guess is six, seven months, solid relationship. Season ends. World tour ends. She's made like a billion dollars on the world tour. They probably break up. It's probably amicable, but 2025, Taylor Swift, new album, another world tour, banger. What do you think? There's good man, there's kind of a history here. There's kind of a history right there, but Or do you think it go do you think it goes all the way? I think it's gonna go all the way. You're so positive. Yeah. I'm all that's my story and I'm gonna stick to it. I, hey look, he's rooting. Look, I wanna root for it too. I'm also rooting for chaos. I'm just to be real honest. I, mean, I, am, I am rooting for chaos. I don't I'm want anyone to get hurt, right. but I want chaos. But before chaos, I feel like they're gonna, it's gonna be a- It's gonna be good. It's a good, good time. All right, do you have a celebrity crush? Like- Oh, uh, yeah. Or eat. maybe you have a lot of celebrity crushes. Where, where would we, where would we J -Lo. start? J-Lo. J-Lo be my number one. Okay. And then uh, Blake Lively. 
Okay. Uh, that's that's a pretty good top two. Oh yeah. And then uh, yeah, I think I. Can I think they're it. unfortunately right now. I think you've only picked married women, so you <laughs> might have to find a single woman in there. I mean, they. I mean, sorry, man. That's that's. See, I gotta go with that. J Lo is dangerous because she could write songs about you. Yeah. That's dangerous. But Blake if Lively, she writes songs for me, it's like it's not. I feel like it's gonna be a good vibe. Okay. You know what I mean? Like you are a good we vibe, gonna hit man. a. I mean, like we hit on a good note. You know, we keep it cordial. There's some laughs here and there, a couple of tequilas here and there, you know. You've already got this point. You've definitely not thought about this before. No. I know. It's just natural. I feel like if I do were to sit down with J-Lo, you know what I mean? I might be a little nervous, but with the tequila there, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> with the tequila there and, uh, you know, hey, shout out to Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, man. <laughs> Love it. He sent you some tequila last year, right? Yeah, he sent me, uh, him and his team, his whole team sent me out uh, a box of uh, tequila. Um, after the Arizona game, after that pick six. That's right. You know, kind of shouted him out. The media was like, what are you going to do after this, you know? We didn't win that game, but he's like, what are you going to do? You know, I was like, for for the vibes. Probably go home, kick my feet up, sip on Terramana, I shot him out. A few weeks later, the Twitter blew it up, and uh, I end up guiding a patch from uh, Dwayne Johnson and the team. So if I were to sit with J-Lo, J-Lo, baby! Plus, hey. did you hear today, XFL, USFL merged. Merged, so, man. Moving Dwayne Johnson, I would just probably call him The Rock. Yeah. That's just me. You have you have a more personal relationship. No, with I say The Rock. You, you know, said it both, but, yeah, yeah. but you have a little more of a. It sounds like a more personal relationship. No. Um. Oh, maybe we. Maybe. Yeah. No. 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 I mean, it's it's an island thing. I'll just keep it at that though. But um. Where's he from? He's from Hawaii. Really? How far is that from you? Five hour flight. That's like a, that's like kind of a close flight. Uh, uh, Samoa, there's not a whole lot around. Yeah, there's not. It's about. The back home is about 55 population. Uh, 55 what? People total? People, people total. Stop. Yes. Um, we don't have no freeways. We only have two. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait, hold on. And only. Uh -oh. We'll get into that. Only two. Yes. Uh oh. They're pin. Can I go right here? Is this? Am I good here? This is the problem. Live show, like. Hey man, they. They, they only have two. They only got two. That's still pretty good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Did, yes. did, I don't know, this week, did you see the, my tackle? Did oh, you yeah, see I that see on film? Tackle. I see your tackle, Jay. Thank you. Yeah. I just wanted to know, like, how was my form? Because oh, I kind of I kind of felt like I got run over. I'm sure we'll edit that in right now. Step through and gets absolutely demolished. Oh, my gosh, what a hit. No, I kind of felt like I got run over, but I got him down. No, you got the job done. Not a lot of snappers at not saying, you know, I respect that. You can that say, they already, they already know. I mean... Jay is a secure tackle. When he tackles, he, he bring him get down. Him, get him to the ground. He knows. Can I get any tips on tackling? Uh, eyes up, run feet, and uh, follow through. Take that extra step. I can say that for myself because, as you see, a lot of my tackles, I lunge and I leave my feet. Um, and that's You're trying to hit them really hard. I'm trying to, like, get my mindset going into tackling. It's like, how can I get this person down, but how can I do it at a violent and physical uh, side of it? Do you, um, ever, do you ever close your eyes? I'll close my eyes. I, I feel like I close my eyes on Sunday. I no, be I feel like I I every tackle eyes. that's been made, nobody opens their eyes when they tackle. I feel like on contact. Sure. On contact, your eyes are closed. Probably like a quick second, a split of a second. That makes sense. But Is there any better feeling coming off like the blind side of a quarterback and they don't see you coming? Oh, man. I is that like, like the one you live for? The one I live for is a receiver crossing through the Ooh. no fly zones, which we call it, or Ray okay. Lewis call it. And you just get that ooh lick where the crowd would just be like, ooh. Do you say ooh when you hit him? You I mean, I just, what do you say when you hit him? I say, don't come this way, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would feel like if you hit a guy hard and Camus was on the field with you, oh, yeah. would, you guys go, would you guys go to your dance? Oh, man, you'll hear, we'll go through the dance, but you'll hear, you're going to be like hearing from the sound, like, what is, is there a zoo of animals or anybody on the field? Because, like, we just sound like we're just screaming all over the place. But, yeah, this, the, the handshake would definitely be there. Um, We've seen the handshake a yeah, few times. Yeah. Quick question: How long did it take for you guys to? You guys can pass, Derek. It's okay. Ooh, see. <laughs> how long did it take you to come up with the full handshake dance, the whole thing? Uh, to be honest, it, uh, training camp. So the whole training camp, whole you, were training de camp. you were developing it. Yeah. We had it down, but we we was never on the field together. It was always me and Shaq. So like, sure. 
we couldn't make plays on special team on punt. We was they call us the Pineapple Express. So I That's felt like true. that was gonna be the first T- opportunity. Tell everybody who the Pineapple Express is. So the Pineapple Express is me and Kamu Cruz Hill, yep. fifty four, and uh, we come from the islands. We love to eat pineapple. I love mixed tequila with my pineapple. Um, and uh, you guys have an honorary member though too, right? Yeah, honorary member of uh, the Pineapple Express. So. And uh, shout out to Coach Tate for giving us that name because it kind of went off that way. So, you, know. <laughs> you guys, you guys are the best. You guys have a ton of fun. Chuba's usually over there with you yeah. as well, and that's a blast. Mm-hmm. Um, last question for you, buddy. Better feeling: sack to get off on third down, Ooh. interception that doesn't score a touchdown. I assume if you're scoring a touchdown, that's the best. Interception. It, you're going for the pick. I'm going for the pick because you change your field position. And it's a great opportunity for our offense for a drive start. Sack is cool. If it's a sack fumble, now we talking. But a pick, So now you're just going for everything. Sack fumble, that's. Sack fumble, that's. You went with option C there. Yeah, option C. I'll go with that. But to answer your question, I'll go with the pick. I have one more question. I, I, we're into the one mores. Okay. Did you hear you became an American citizen this year? Yeah. Did you hear that? I saw it on social media. Did you get that notice? Yes. What was the hard, okay. Think about the hardest question that you thought you got in the exam, and let's see if I can get it. Okay. Because there was a lot of stuff, because you talked about Karen was quizzing you, you were correct, prepping correct, correct. while you were doing rehab and training for the season. Correct. Do you think I could get the hardest question? I've been an American citizen my whole life. Okay. It's probably the only question I remember it is, what is an amendment and what does it do? An, what is an amendment? An amendment is a special law written into the Constitution to protect its citizens from the government. Passed. He already passed. Even citizen. Double citizen. Or, it was an oral exam, right? Yeah. It wasn't multiple choice. It wasn't multiple choice. That was like my first uh, mistake heading into the <laughs> test. Um, but you passed. You're an American citizen. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. you know, this is great. The whole point of doing the whole citizenship for people that don't know uh, to sponsor mom and dad uh, to get their citizenship. and be able to come out and watch one of my games uh, this past weekend. Yep. Yeah. So the Go ahead, tell them. No, nah, this past weekend, it was, it was my mom's first game. She flew from Samoa uh, earlier through that week. So the week heading into Seattle, they flew up and uh, watched my first snap of professional football in six years. And, That's uh, amazing. The whole fam. Actually, I was playing for free last week. <laughs> tickets? Because I paid 52 tickets. And we won't go in deep details with that. Um, but. That must have been a throw of a lifetime. It was throw of a lifetime, but also a memory to cherish, uh, to have the fam out there. And, you know, in Seattle, in that environment, the 12th man, I had my own 52 family there supporting the whole team. And uh, and y'all were singing and yeah. embracing the whole thing after the game back mm-hmm. in the tunnel. Now, I thought that was pretty special. Yeah, so usually after an event or a special event, a special occasion, uh, after games, usually the song has been uh, sang. Um, you know, the war has been done. You know, the battle has been over with. Like, just that type of mindset. So, like, you came out the game, even though I didn't came out, you know, healthy and everything. Yeah. Um, they were there to embrace that, um, you know, moment with me and also just with good spirits and good energy. So, yeah. It was great. It was fun to watch. I was watching from afar. It was super yeah. cool. Um, Oos, my brother. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you. This was great. Thanks, guys. Keep pounding. Let's go. Gee.